I legitimately have a fucking headache. Um, every once in a while, a movie comes along that leaves me so absolutely disgusted and without the ability to comprehend what I just watched. And there's really no other response for me other than to just be livid. And right now I'm fucking livid. So tell me if this sounds familiar. A young girl is institutionalized for 15 years for an incident where her and a friend of hers coerced another girl out into the woods where they proceeded to stab her multiple times in a sacrificial effort to appease an entity that lives in a mansion in the woods. Mercy Black was uh, recently distributed by Blumhouse and Netflix, and it is one of the most heinous, awful, exploitative pieces of trash I have seen maybe ever. Guys, I really don't think I'm properly summarizing how angry I am right now. My head hurts. I feel ill. I was staring at the TV for 90 minutes, absolutely mortified at what I was watching, and I don't mean that as a compliment to the film in one way at all. Let's put aside the um, awful writing and awful acting and the fact that Janine Garofalo is in this movie even though she deserves much better. Let's put aside the terrible special effects. All of that. We're just going to take it, put it in a little box. It doesn't matter for the sake of this video. Uh, what does matter is that this is a film that is so blatantly, proudly capitalizing on the Wisconsin Slenderman stabbing of 2014. A film that is so unsubtle about where it got its inspiration from that it almost feels like it's wearing it like a badge of honor. And I'm, I'm truly just in awe that this movie exists, that this movie got greenlit, that this movie was allowed to be made, let alone by a major production company and by a major streaming service like Netflix. I can only assume that they took what was originally a tone-deaf Slenderman film and reworked it so it was a tone-deaf pseudo Slenderman film and they only reworked it because Sony had the rights to Slenderman and not because it was a an exploitative garbage heap. I just want to point out the hilarious irony that Sony butchered Slenderman in the edit because they were afraid of offending someone with content that was too reminiscent of the stabbing. And then you have Owen Edgerton just go out and make this movie, uh, which not only is maybe somewhat reminiscent of said stabbing, but is a blatant depiction of said stabbing with every single detail perfectly reflecting the actual in real life incident. It is so beyond disgusting that I am still sitting here in shock and lack of ability to process what I just watched. I feel ill. Like Blumhouse, Netflix, you created a movie capitalizing on the near death of a child and put it out there for said child to maybe stumble upon if she's ever surfing Netflix. I, I truly can't fathom how fucking stupid this is on everyone involved in this movie's part. It really just does copy every fucking detail. You have the two girls, one of whom coerces the other two into the woods and manipulates one of them into stabbing the other. You have the fact that said stabbed girl didn't die and managed to crawl away to safety. And then to add insult to injury, they made her grow up and to be a murderous psychopath because, you know, it's not disrespectful enough to the actual surviving victim. You have the Slenderman-esque entity Mercy Black, which, you know, it's not copyright. She's a woman and she takes kids. And you have her going viral and becoming something of an internet urban legend because, you know, again, we're not reminiscent of Slenderman enough. I really can't understand 
who thought this was okay. I, I just, I, I can't. Guys, this is more disrespectful than the Slender Man film. This is more disrespectful than Beware the Slender Man, the HBO documentary. At least that was attempting to just be a documentary. This is acting like it's an original story while blatantly being proud of the fact that it was clearly inspired by a real-life tragedy and is capitalizing on that real-life tragedy and making money off the fact that a child nearly died. I'm sorry that this is, like, kind of all over the place, I guess, but I wasn't gonna write up a script for this because this is just a very reactionary video. This is a very horrified and disgusted video that I didn't really expect to be making. I was just going to, you know, review this like a normal movie, but this is so gross that I can't bring myself to talk about it like a normal movie. I am just in awe that this was allowed to be made. If I was to give it a rating, I would say it would be a garbage fire, but that feels too nice, and that feels like I'm acknowledging that it is a film. I'm floored, guys. Don't watch this movie. Don't... Just don't.